What's up guys, this is Igor in Russia. Starting off from very center of the city. Friday night, Friday evening, beautiful weather. Just came back from Viborg. Filmed tons of, a little bit low on battery, but let's make the most of it. So make sure to subscribe. We'll let's uh, keep the commenting going. Hello everybody, hello Dirk, welcome. And now, how does the Russia look now? I guess we'll find out. Amigo Russia make videos from the Western perspective arriving from the West, from the Europe to the city that I love the most in the world, which feels like truly home, St. Petersburg. Welcome, check it out and let's go. Yes, I arrived to St. Petersburg. Looks awesome, yes indeed. Let's see, we'll go to, uh, let's see where we go. This is Senna Square. Many of you guys love this place and this is uh, one of the uh, city centers, like real centers. So it's Friday evening, beautiful weather. In Viborg there was a storm today. I managed to go into a sh store and uh, make the most of it. I filmed actually the, the store inside the Viborg. It's a chain, Vierney, meaning like uh, Vierney, what does it mean? Uh, loyal, basically. A loyal, loyal grocery store chain. And uh, I filmed that during the storm, passing storm. guys you missed a lot of Vibor because I have lots of videos that I haven't released but yes thank you you saw the last stream I think the first one failed not for my reason not for my it wasn't my fault everybody hit the like this is Sydney Square I very often start my videos from this place it's the most convenient place for me to uh, to arrive. A lot of young people here, music. train otherwise it's over two hours last that you got St. Petersburg. So this here is a notorious square because if this place had, you know, all kinds of prostitutes way back in the 19th century, 
dr uh, not drug dealers, dealers, you know, like shady people, etc. And it still has that uh, element, a little bit. You can see all kinds of people here. And uh, in the 1960s, here stood a, still stood a beautiful cathedral, which was blown up. And now they resurrected a small chapel instead. But the Soviets blew it up. Ville. Hello, welcome. How is in the... Uh, Ville asks about how... Uh, how is in the Finland Russian border at the moment? Takes a long time going by bus from Helsinki. Uh, it took a little bit longer yesterday. I, I traveled from five. I have videos, by the way, if you want to check out, unless you know, there is a Sovafta, uh, the cheapest one. So um, I traveled and it took a little bit longer than usual. Finnish border was really packed. So. Um, people like I told you so uh, it took a long time from the Finnish border it was packed because a lot of people go into Russia I have a new video in shorts check out the shorts uh, video YouTube shorts videos from my channel there's a, I released a video yesterday so a lot of people uh, it took almost I don't know 40 50 minutes because we had to wait for somebody also from Finnish border then the Russian border was fast but then we had to wait for somebody again so it was one hour again but otherwise, it was it, it was pretty smooth considering how packed it was. Nothing special. Yeah, because of the, if there are some people we have to wait for some other reasons, it, it takes more time. So yeah, that's my answer. I just love the Russian building street atmosphere. I imagine Moscow being the same. I plan to visit Russia next year. Awesome. I plan to visit it uh, next month. Uh, hopefully it will succeed. All right, guys, let's go. I have limited power and I spend it all to you. All right, this is Sadova Street. I think we should uh, maybe just go out to uh, see. I, I personally, this is my first time. I arrived yesterday at night and I, this is my first time in St. Petersburg because I went all the way straight to by underground metro straight to uh, Griborg. And I just arrived, so I haven't seen my city for the first time as well. Show off. All right, guys, we're on the other side of Senna Square. This used to be a bus station. And this used to be packed with uh, different shawarma restaurants like kebab places and it was but I hear it's horrible but now it's pretty cool to enjoy walk around still uh, a few a few uh, maybe alcoholics usually stay on the on the side not too many just few I'm gonna ah, the bank is closed by the way so yeah I'm not gonna go there I'm gonna go here and we're gonna check out I personally love cherish St. Petersburg's canals, rivers, that's the real beauty of St. Petersburg. Now I will go back to the busy street, right now I want to go to the side and just look at the look at the awesome uh, what this 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 is Gribayedova canal yeah, as well you, at the same time you will see kind of a, not the main streets of the city center. Well, and I love this place. Only in St. Petersburg, in Russia, is that uh, I walk a lot. This building built in the 1810s, protected by the government, it says. There's a lot of these plaques because the city is everywhere, historical, everywhere. Dirk Niesler became a member. Thank you, Dirk. Thank you for the support. And hope you enjoy the little extra, extra content that members get.
guys there's a hotel on the street as well i stayed here once i remember see yeah there's a lot of uh, coffee places this place says не просто стрижка it says basically not just barbershop <laughs> i wonder what that means uh, i would love to have a beer but i don't know that'll make me want to go to the toilet i watch you and dima but you are my favorite russian youtuber streamer brandon thank you sir that's uh that sounds good I have truly very ambitious canal, uh, channel <laughs> canal. Oh, this Cheburiki, that's something I ate back in, uh, if you remember, at the new Peterhof Cheburiki. Shaverma, that's kebab kind of, and Hachipuri, the Georgian food. I could give you, well, I could give you content about free Germanis. A lot of different stores but anyways yes thank you i have very uh unique canal in Chana channel oh my god i'm tired what is a canal and cha channels uh mix it's a channel anyways a very ambitious channel so the hotel is i think i think it's this one here yeah or that one I'd say this one. It was okay. It was pretty cool. It was cheap. I don't know about the prices now. Uh, my guess is it's probably maybe 30, 40 euros per night in St. Petersburg. Krasny Dragon. It says a, a red dragon. I have a problem that my battery is low. Of 20 percent and i don't know where i tried to find a battery but i couldn't find guys this is one of the most epic things in st petersburg the canals and this is actually a river no this is gribedova canal there many i can buy in every supermarket dirt no you can't you know why there might be a. Uh, it might be very tasty, but you have to try the real pelmenis in Russia. You know, not to disrespect. I buy supermarket pelmenis as well. Just check it out. What we see here. Yes. Uh, this is a private one over here. Girls just took it out and they're gonna have a party. Now see bottles popping. Bottles popping there, music playing. This is very normal thing. It's not that, that expensive actually. That type of small normal boat. You can ha have like a luxurious boat as well. And that the other one might be actually also uh, private, but a bigger one. Then of course we have these uh, boats. That's uh, what I was saying. We have regular cruisers. Cruises that's uh, just for tourists, you know. Oh man, I love this place. I try to look not only from the uh, from the from the screen, but also from from my own eyes. This is too, too beautiful. I miss this place very much. It's been like four weeks, I think. I start to get really anxious not seeing St. Petersburg after, well, two weeks max. Then I feel physically bad. I can eat. Both. 
check it out. This is a this is an omen. It says Zhigulovska, my favorite beer and pivo. Family rented. If you have more money, you can rent that boat. I think it probably might cost maybe a hundred bucks. A lady driver. Not trying to be a sexist, but I've never seen a lady driver before. People are heading out to the city. Ribaedovo Canal, one of the best. I think I, I love Ribaedovo. In some parts I like Moika River. It's wide, but the most I love, especially for some reason, Fontanka River, which is the next one to the right. I guess we'll see tomorrow. People selling some stuff by the, on the corner. Check it out how packed it is. This is packed. Everybody wants uh, some Russian pastry. Favorite street, I think, is it's Kazanska Street. If you want to see the full walk from Kazanska Street, just write Kazanskaya Street, Igor in Russia. I have the video on my channel. And if you're interested in any streets, you can check out the link in the description for my Google Maps. And I have all the videos, put all the path, all the walks on the map. Man, I would like to walk on the street. I think this is a Garohova, this one. And this one here is, uh, that's the Kazanska street leading to Kazan Cathedral. Would you like to go to Kazan Cathedral? All right, let's go. I get it. I hear you. Man, what a view, right? Super awesome. All right, so let's go. You'll see Nevsky. You'll see all the legendary stuff at once, at one time. Guys, please subscribe and please hit the like button. I truly appreciate. Does somebody know? This is, I don't know everything about Russia. Not even close probably, but I know enough. But I don't know something. I don't know is, can I, as a foreign citizen with a, with a foreign driver's license, can I, can I take the, uh, the Russian, uh, what do you call, car rents, not rents sharing car sharing can i use russian car sharing Does somebody know check it out for restaurants like this man i need the um, power bank boroda bar nice boroda boroda means uh beard and bar is bar so it's like a beer bar beard bar we're gonna have something new on the streets. Yes, but I mean, uh, not taxi. I mean, can I drive cars with a car sharing? Meaning, just like Russians, 
they just take the car and uh, you know just like uh, like a scooter anyways check this view guys epic right did you see my question Ville, about if it's uh, possible to go by bus from St. Petersburg to Estonia ah I didn't see it you can go from Russia to any any place no problem right now the Ivan Gorod is uh, you go from uh, so yeah the short answer is yes because Russia doesn't have any problems uh, and especially if you're a Finnish citizen so you just it's it's okay and uh, Estonians no matter how crazy they are or uncertain about themselves uh, they cannot deny the European Union citizens from entering from Russia I mean that they don't like people visiting Russia but I guess it's because a square meter has more interesting stuff in, in uh, Russia, St. Petersburg than in the whole country but okay I'm, I'm feeling this is stupid I actually like Estonian Soviet locations and the old town is really really nice Sorry, I, I, I felt uh, aggressive for a second. <laughs> so yeah, I think the the border right now from uh, from Narva is that uh, is that you have to. I think the the uh, the Narva Ivan Gorod uh, bridge isn't is on under construction under renovation. So that means the uh, the. Uh, I guess the the cars drop you off by the bridge you cross over and then then the bus continues I think it's like that not sure but yeah I seen Lux Express driving that and I think Echo Lines as well these are Kazanska Street is very has very narrow roads Not car roads, cars have way too much attention for my taste. <sighs> Crazy driving. This is a cool bar. We went with all with my wife who came here. Really nice stuff really good beer There's some other restaurant it's called it's called mannequin piss all right mannequin belgian beer experts i wonder do they have belgian beer belgium belgium Oh, a cat. Is she hungry? Are you local? What? Fucking hell. Fuck. Beautiful. She doesn't look. Hey, I have still food. Hey, come on. Hey, don't go there. Please don't be okay, please be okay. Uh, there she goes. Dirk, Google says you can rent a car. They want a copy of your visa, passport and driver's license. Nice. Hey, come on, don't, don't, don't do that. Man, I wanna get out. They're locking me in. All right.
right, just kidding. I knew I was gonna get out. Behold, St. Petersburg opens before your eyes. Ta-da! Amazing. Pochta Rossiya, Russian Postal Service. This is perfect. What do you call the parfumeria? Meaning the place where they give you different uh, tastes, you know, perfumes and create perfumes. Hey, this place has got new coloring. I didn't see this red in a while. I think it's pretty recent or I have never noticed. But yes, thank you Dora for Googling. That means we'll be driving, but I want my wife to be with me <laughs> because I'm serious. Driving here is uh, very crazy. You need to know the local driving style. I was in Greece. I didn't drive a car. I, I just, I hadn't driven a car for a while, for two years maybe or something. And before that, I didn't drive too much. So despite that, I decided to, we rented a car in Greece. And I read that people are driving crazy in Greece. Well, plus of course the, the, uh, what was it? The crazy, crazy uh, mountain roads. Oh my God, what a place. So yeah, and uh, I decided that I liked it so much. I actually just now started driving in Finland. So I feel I wanna drive in St. Petersburg as well. Guys, what of you? What of you? right in the center, there it is. Million dollars, dollar shots. <laughs> ah, so your grandparents were born in Riga. I'm from Riga as well, I guess you might know that as well, right? I was born in Soviet Latvia. That's why I have the Soviet journalist press pass, but yes. Awesome. If you need any tips, I have plenty. I, uh, Latvia was my favorite place to go before I found true homeland for Russia. I thought it was because of the nostalgic, you know, feel to it. But uh, I've driven there since 2004 up to like 15, once or twice a year. I've visited most of the great places of Latvia. So I can give you nice tips. You know, Jurmala, the, uh, which one in Jurmala? If you don't like to care about tourists, I can give you tips. Better locations if you want to be in peace, live alone and have your, the whole beach to yourself. All right, guys, we are now going to Nevsky. And yes, uh, definitely recommend. Plus you can have, if you want to this, uh, also this Soviet thing to it. You can check my Latvia videos. I explored some or not all, some of the Soviet locations, which are most monumental in Riga anyways. All right guys, that's uh, Singer, House of Singer, company Singer, not Swinger, Singer. This is Kazan Cathedral. This is Kazan, Kazanska Street right here. We're gonna walk there on uh, Nevsky Prospects. And there's so many tourists. I'm sorry guys, but I just hate it. I love the view. But it's just... Uh... All right. Tourists don't know how to walk. That's the problem. Kind of a uh, forbidden to travel by the scooters. Then they're like uh, making noises, like uh, move. Nobody's gonna move. I feel bad for the horses, by the way. Not the 
10% left. Here is a ice hockey club Scott. What would be the busiest time? Well, there's always tourists, but definitely summer. Best time, I think, is spring and late summer. But uh, the busiest is probably now and next month. Plus, of course, there's some events that like mega events. For example, this Ale Parusa on a few days ago. I have a small video on YouTube, I think. So uh, there's like, I don't know, one million people out. You see, why people on the bikes? Freaking tourists. Music and bands. That's a Malay Kanyushin uh, man. I don't know where to get a power bank, seriously. I have no clue. I think if we would go over there, maybe we could see, uh, we'll see some band live performance. The least busiest, well, yeah, maybe, maybe like early winter, or I don't know. Christmas in uh, St. Petersburg is beautiful. Check it out how they drive. This is why I don't want to drive. You can drive here like 150 easily. Kilo kilometers. I don't know how many miles is that. There's no train stations here. Eventually went there's three main streets to Admiraltiske and uh, we went on the other side on the uh, Garohova street but now it's Nevsky. Main three first streets lead to, to that uh, Admiral, Admirality. And this is Black Cat's favorite, Stalova number one. This is a new one here. <laughs> The same song as we heard in the beginning, by the way. By the uh, on the um, they're selling walks on the roofs. These they are illegal but very popular. I managed to talk about talk to a, a fireman a year ago. Uh, we went. We got to go inside the actual fire station. is everybody's playing it. I don't know, I guess it's a very popular song. So this is uh, Moika now. Check it out, Moika River guys. the most expensive place to take a boat ride. The difference is it's not huge but it is. Hey, 
amazing. Hello, welcome. Yes, awesome. I agree. This is amazing. And this river continues all the way there. Like, there's a lot of peaceful places. Any way you want. It's all for you to use, watch, to use. This here is a. Uh, this here is uh, Pushkin's most favorite. There you go. Molif i Beranje. This. Uh, restaurant is the favorite of Pushkin and they know it's and there's a Pushkin puppet by the window somewhere I always show you it where is it there it is Pushkin eating favorite or popular time maybe like early winter or I don't know maybe like uh, February I don't know it's always busy because this is like cultural capital there's a uh, no matter how beautiful or not beautiful but it, the weather is uh, there's so many museums and everything so you cannot be interested you know here is that uh, the street is packed with people it's hard to walk okay guys I don't have many battery left but I'm gonna finish this video with a beautiful and traditional traditional walk to uh, palace square I have unofficial rule that uh, I want to see I have to first thing one of the first things I do is have a beer uh, not beer is have a milk Russian mo uh, milk when I arrive then uh, but he gave me this anyways and uh, another thing is that I have to during my any visit to hold up check it out not guilty uh, if you, that was Johnny Depp that's his Russian army in the back anyways uh, and the other thing is that I need to visit Palace Square you guys enjoy This is the most useless thing to buy, in my view. The sound of birds, so annoying. Imagine that at home. Why? Is Dima here? I, I'm just walking, I don't have no idea. Dima has a power bank. Let me know if he's here. All right, we have to go around because there are some events being planned. Oh my God, once again.
I hate it. All right, guys, the most epic, wonderful place in the world. I just bought a book, not a book, a magazine. Magazine about my favorite, well, not favorite tar, but Romanov family. So here's uh, Nikolai II. And he actually stood right there in the epic video uh, filmed about him. So let me know where is uh, where is Dima? Who said he's here? Is he here? Five percent. Show it around and stop unless we, you will find. Unless we'll find <laughs> Dima and Power Bank. Last time we met, we was actually here. I think it was the only one. What's going? On? This is TikTok thing. Saze, Kniga, have you read Birds Without Wings? Nope, I've read only Birds With Wings, that's the other one. This is of course, everybody's taking pictures here, everybody's enjoying. I have too many pictures. By the way, why am I? All right. Alright guys, epic view for you, Alexander Column. Thank you guys for joining in. Come back tomorrow. We're gonna do something new stuff. It's been a great day. All right, guys, thanks for joining. Please subscribe, hit the like button, become a member. See you guys in the next video. Yes, I will. I might film more, but now the battery is ending. I have to stop. So, see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Live streams and other stuff. Bye bye.